So you want to start by just brushing your eyebrows down so that all the hairs are laying the same way. You can just use your fingers to do that. Then you'll just take a washable glue stick and some kind of a flat tool. I'm just using a plastic fork here. And you'll take the glue stick and run it over half of your eyebrow, right about where the eyebrow starts to arch. Then you'll take your flat tool and scrape off some of the glue stick. Just smear that right into your eyebrow. It goes on a little bit thick at first, but just try to smooth it out as best you can so that it creates a nice smooth surface over your eyebrow. If you get it on your skin, just rub it off with your fingers. So next you're going to take some kind of powdered makeup. I'm using um, ELF's translucent mattifying powder, but pretty much any powder makeup will do. You just want to make sure that it's several shades lighter than your skin color. You just dab that onto your eyebrows, and that should stick right to the glue. The darker your eyebrows are, the more you'll have to use. And just try to rub it off of the skin around the eyebrow. Then you'll go back and put another layer of glue right over that layer of powder. And then put another layer of powder right over that layer of glue. As you can see, the eyebrows are starting to disappear a little bit now. So next you're going to take some concealer and you're going to choose a shade that matches your skin tone and then just paint that right over the powder that you used to cover your eyebrows. And that will blend your hidden eyebrows right in with the rest of your skin. And I'm not using any special brushes here or anything, this is just the brush that came with the concealer, so pretty much any brush you have should work just fine. So just blend out your eyebrows. And so then finally, take some black eyeshadow and get your brush wet before you pick up the powder because I found it makes it a little darker. And very carefully draw in your Vulcan eyebrows. You just want to upsweep them a little bit and try to make sure they're not any longer than your normal eyebrows would be. And again, I'm just using the same brush I was using before that came with a concealer. It's just, it's got a small tip so it's easy to draw with. You just need something thin and small. And once you have the outline drawn, you can just fill in the inside. You also want to brush along your real eyebrows a little bit so they blend in with the drawn on ones. And so here I am with both eyebrows done. So for the hair, I just took a black bob Halloween wig. It was like $5 at Halloween time in Walmart or something. And then I cut it much shorter to give it more of a Spock shape. So for the pointed ears, I got these latex ears and the spirit gum from AridaniCostumes.com and these are really nice elf ears and so what you do is you just take a little bit of the spirit gum and you just paint that onto the flap of the ear. Sorry, I dipped a little below the camera there. And then you just slip the latex ear over your real ear under the sideburns and then you just hold that on there for a little bit until it dries. And I do recommend putting the ears on after you have your wig on otherwise you're liable to knock the ears off when you try to put the wig on. And the ears that I'm wearing here are a little different than Spock's ears because they're actually meant to be elf ears. Eridani does have actual Vulcan shaped ears, but since I already had a set of elf ears, that's just what I'm using here. And so then of course just do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. So 
So thanks for watching, guys. See you next week, and live long and prosper.